Member elections are inching closer, and we want to remind you in person absentee voting kicks off tomorrow. In Montgomery County, the race for sheriff is heating up. This year, voters can choose from Republican, Democratic, and independent candidates. WSLS 10's Bethany Teague spoke to all three men to help you get to know them a little better. Robbie Hall, Hank Parton, George Jackson. One of these men will be the Montgomery County Sheriff next year. I've been involved in every major project here at the Sheriff's Office for approximately the last 25 years. I have been involved with every division in the Sheriff's Office. I know the Sheriff's Office inside and out. It's not just about law enforcement. I've been a business owner in Montgomery County for nearly 20 years. I have a master's degree, a bachelor's degree. I'm a graduate of the FBI National Academy. Montgomery County native Robbie Hall became chief deputy several years ago and received the endorsement of retiring Sheriff Tommy Witt. Hall says managing the budget would be his biggest challenge as sheriff and saving is a top goal. We all expected to do more with less. Uh, so you have to be innovative and find ways to make up those differences. Hank Parton heads up the courthouse security, criminal warrants, and civil process divisions for the sheriff's office. He says protecting children is priority number one. The largest personal issue for me is not having school resource officers in our elementary schools. I think that's imperative. I think we need someone there to take care of those children. If evil decides to show its face, and I will make that happen. George Jackson serves as patrol commander for the Virginia Tech Police Department. Jackson has run for sheriff before as a Republican, but now lists himself as independent. It's not a political position. You know, it's, it's just not. You can't answer the telephone and say, you know, 911, are you Republican or Democrat? Jackson says his first plan is to make sure police have a positive and trusting relationship with the community. We asked each candidate what you could expect to see change if they get the win. They can expect a, a greater sense of uh, visibility from, from the sheriff's position. I will be a sheriff that's in the community constantly. I want to be the sheriff that citizens know. For now, the task is clear. Push for every last ballot come November 3rd. In Christiansburg, Bethany Teague, WSLS 10. And tonight at 7, you can hear what all three candidates have to say about the drug problem Montgomery County is now facing.